Which is quicker in a drag race? The new Volkswagen Golf R or a Honda Civic Type R? We're gonna find out because I'm gonna race them over a standing quarter mile. So this new Golf R it has a two litre four cylinder turbo petrol engine with 320 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque. It's got a dual clutch automatic seven speed gearbox with launch control, but it does weigh quite a bit comes in at 1,551 kilograms. That's the price you pay for having all wheel drive and a diff on the front and a diff on the back. That helps with traction though. In terms of pricing, it's quite expensive this thing, 39,000 pounds. Civic, 33,000 pounds, but then it is only front wheel drive and it's lighter as a result of it. 1,380 kilos, big weight advantage. Still, it has a manual gearbox, so no launch control. It's gonna be harder to launch that thing. So I've got a professional driver in there. He'll do his best. Engine power, same as this. Two litre, four cylinder turbo, 320 horsepower. Less torque though, 400 newton meters. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens. Before we do though, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you will not miss a single upload. And if you're thinking about buying a new car and you wanna see how much you can save, I'll put a little link top right hand corner of the screen should be popping out or there's a link below the description where you can get a car wow because on average car wow buyers save over two thousand nine hundred pounds now if you want to do that later you can just simply google help me car wow and my team and i'll help you choose the right car for you and get it for a fair price from one of our trusted dealers now before we race let's do the sound check no soft limiter oh some rumbly noises as well oh Let's hear the Civic. It's not going to be as good. Go on, rev up the Civic. Are you revving it? Three and a half thousand limiter. That doesn't look like a car that would have a soft limiter. I want to try something else, right? Another sound test. I'm going to honk the horn. That's my horn. Let's hear the Civic's horn. Done again. <laughs> Sounds like a toy car. Yeah, but she's pretty, isn't she? Really? She's bloody hideous. <laughs> this isn't the most exciting looking car, but I'd rather be sat in this than that. Is your boot full of pens and biros and things for sale? Is your boot full of track suits? Ooh, yeah. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go on with the race. Three, two, one. Oof, struggling off the line. Can be a pain to launch that thing. Not this. <laughs> Destroyed. I can hear you all, Civic Type R fanboys. He's not going to launch it. Do you know what his job is? As a racing driver, car manufacturers employ him to actually show people how to get the most performance out of their cars. Sometimes it's just hard to launch that blooming car. Also, he works in the movies doing stunt driving. So, yeah, keyboard warriors, button it. Let's give him another go. To make this a little bit fairer, considering I've got launch control and all-wheel drive and he's got manual gearbox and front-wheel drive, I'm not gonna look at Carway Star Girl. I'm gonna look at him, and once he goes, I'll go, and I'll see if I can catch him and pass him and win. Let's do this. There he's going. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I still smashed him. <laughs> I actually watched you leave. There's two issues here. One, there's no handbrake, and that would make a big, big difference if I could preload it on handbrake. And two, the clutch is just, I suppose it's so Honda good. There's no slip at all and it just sends the power in one massive bite. So you're just trying to control it on your throttle and the wheels are spinning. So yeah, I'm crap. <laughs> <laughs> He's not crap. Let's just do one more go. I'm gonna give you an even bigger head start. All right. For this final race, what I'm gonna do is count to 10 once the starter puts their hands down and then I'll go. That's gotta be enough time. Come on. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. You had a good start then? Yeah, as good as it's going to be in a front wheel drive car, I thought it was really good. I 
cannot believe how you just came past me. Do you know what? I didn't even start launch control until the hands went down and then I counted to 10. <laughs> Did you actually count to 10? No, you didn't. No, not 10. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you counted to 3. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's 10. I counted to 10. Mississippi, Leslie? Yeah, but there needs to be a Mississippi between it if it's going to be official. So. Yeah. Yep, 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 it is what it is. So then what exactly happened? Well, it took me 1.6 seconds to count to 10, and then the VW did the standing quarter mile in 12.3 seconds, crossing the line at pretty much the same time as the Honda, which meant that car had taken 13.9 seconds to do the quarter mile. Okay, let's take the launch out of the equation by doing a rolling race in third from 50 miles an hour. There we go. Three, two, one, go. What did we learn there? That two cars which have the same power output, this is a bit more torque, but this is a lot heavier, it was noticeably quicker. I suppose it's got the automatic gear changes, which no matter how good you are, you're not gonna be as quick as this dual clutch system. No, that change is gonna be the same every time on every shift, whereas there's a human element in this. Like you've got 100 more horsepower. And this will have drivetrain losses, because it's four wheel drive, two wheel drive, it's madness. Maybe there's some drag from that stupid wing on the back and the fake aero shenanigans. That is a proper wing, and it's got a proper front aero as well, I'll have you know. Really? Chevy looks rubbish. No, it's not proper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have a brake test from 70 miles an hour, bridge line, full emergency stop. Can the Civic win this? Come on. Go the Civic. This is good on the brakes. I didn't feel any ABS whatsoever. This just stopped, it's mega. That's the thing you see, all the Honda Civic Type R fanboys will be going, do you know what, who cares about straight line speed, blah, 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 blah. Take them round a circuit, we'll know what will win. And yes, it would be that Civic Type R because it's like a race car for the road. When you combine that with your race car skill, Sam, you know, you'd just destroy me, wouldn't you? Now, if you want to see how much you can save on one of these cars, I've got a great offer on one of these cars. I'm going to tell you whether it's the Honda or this. If you click on that pop-out banner just up there, you can go to Carway to see the saving you can get on one of these cars. Now, if you want to do that at a later date, see how much money you can save on a new car through Carway, just simply Google Help Me Carway. Now, if you're not doing so already, please follow me on Instagram at Matt Watson Cars. I do lots of behind the scenes videos and photos and stuff from our drag races, so you might find out what we're doing before it actually goes live on YouTube. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Click on those windows there to watch some more drag races. And if you click on that box there, you can check out the CarWow Drag Race leaderboard and you can see how these cars, standing quarter miles time, it always does this, it always chimes in with no data. Anyway, you can see how these cars, standing quarter mile times compared to other cars we drag raced. Thanks for watching. Why do you always chime in? <laughs>